Hello everyone. While Jesus was yet to start his public ministry, John the Baptist was in the wilderness where he was calling people to pursue repentance and also baptizing them in the Jordan River. This was an outward sign of their inward commitment to welcome the coming Messiah and to receive forgiveness of sins and the baptism in the Spirit. Many people responded to John's preaching and were baptized. Thus the people made the first step towards the forgiving mercy which was to be found in Christ. The Jewish leaders who thought John might be the Messiah whom they had been waiting for as the prophets had foretold sent emissaries to ask him if he was the Messiah. John declared that he was neither the Messiah nor Elijah whom the Jews believed would come to herald the coming of the Messiah, nor the prophet whom Moses had said that God would raise from among them. Rather, he told them that his function was only to prepare the way for the Messiah. Meanwhile, Jesus, who had been baptized by John, went to the desert for forty days where he was tempted by Satan. After that, he returned to the area where John was baptizing. John's Gospel states that Jesus came the day after John the Baptist was questioned by the Jews. This was followed by John the Baptist's public announcement to the crowds that Jesus was the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world and that he had recognized him at the time of his baptism when the Holy Spirit appeared in the form of a dove and God the Father's voice spoke from heaven. Friends, on the next day as Jesus walked by, John the Baptist again proclaimed, Behold the Lamb of God. But this time John was with two of his disciples. Friends, it appears from the following verses that one of the disciples was Andrew by name and the other had no given name. Some scholars say he was probably John, the writer of the Gospel of John. Like any devout Jews of the time, those two men would have been practicing all the prescribed rituals and sacrifices and waiting for the Messiah. So when John came preaching the baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins, they too believed in John's message, received baptism after confessing their sins and became his disciples. However, when they heard John the Baptist say that Jesus was the Lamb of God, they promptly followed Jesus. It may well be that they were too shy to approach Jesus directly and followed respectfully some distance behind. Then Jesus turned and asked them what they were looking for. They were probably caught of God by the question because they responded by asking Jesus where he was staying. Jesus, without saying much, invited them to come and see. John the Evangelist specifies that it was four o'clock in the afternoon. Friends, there are two views on the specified time. One, it is to imply that the Lord Jesus was zealous to teach and instruct even at the end of a long day. Two, it is to make us understand that the disciples meeting with Jesus did not end abruptly with the sunset, but rather continued through the whole night. Friends, after spending the rest of the day with Jesus, Andrew first sought out his brother Simon and told him that he had found the Messiah. In fact, Andrew also brought him to Jesus, who looked at him and said, You are Simon, the son of John, you will be called Cephas. Friends, what is the message for us? 1. God reveals Himself in a variety of ways to draw us all closer to Him. And He always makes the first move. Remember the story of Adam and Eve in the book of Genesis? Once they yielded to the deception of the serpent and ate of the fruit of the tree of knowledge of good and evil, they felt guilt and fear for the first time in their lives. They were instantly ashamed and terrified Hearing the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden, they hid themselves from God. Then the Lord God called to Adam and said to him, Where are you? 
he replied i heard your voice in the garden and i was afraid because i was naked and i hid myself friends since then god reached out to sinful mankind through specially appointed messengers or prophets again and again to have a right relationship with him but they rejected him the bible is full of stories about god making covenants with his people throughout history finally after trying every possible way to save us god came down in the person of jesus christ and died for our sins on the cross he undid all the failures of the first human beings and fulfilled all that the relationship needs to bring us back to harmony with him friends indeed God wants to save us and to have a wonderful personal relationship with him. He has made it possible in love, grace and mercy through his son Jesus. Now, only when we step forward in repentance and accept God's offer of redemption through his son Jesus Christ does a restored relationship with him happen. 2. The invitation is passed on so naturally from person to person. According to the New Testament, just as John the Baptist introduced Jesus to Andrew and others, Andrew introduced his brother Simon to the Lord Jesus. Then he introduced the boy with the five loaves and two fish. Finally, he introduced the Greeks who desired to see Jesus. Later and during his ministry, Andrew is believed to have traveled to the Caucasus mountains. that is the present day georgia in eastern europe turkey greece and macedonia and preached there in other words through his preaching and the miracles of healing he performed in the name of jesus he brought many people to believe in jesus christ the other apostles also obeyed jesus command and traveled to all parts of the known world to introduce the lord jesus since then People in every generation have passed down their faith in Jesus to others and to us. Friends, today as we have been introduced to Jesus by those who bore witness to Christ, that is the apostles, priests, missionaries, grandparents, parents, friends and relatives, each one of us is called to bear witness to Christ and to lead others to him. 3 No special training or education or any other qualification is required to share or talk about Jesus to others. For the most part, the disciples were uneducated fishermen who had little or no formal religious education. They just shared what they knew about Jesus based on their personal interactions with him. Friends, we may be very ordinary people like Andrew and the other apostles. but the lord can use us in bringing others to know him each of us have our own faith story that is different and special which only we can tell it sharing our stories helps us to deepen our own personal faith while hearing others stories brings us into deeper understanding of and relationship with god and others for jesus invites us to come and see him especially in the place where we as a community of believers from many languages cultures and nations gather to worship and give thanks to read his word and hear it preached to us and to partake in the holy eucharist and be his people let us therefore make every effort to do what leads to peace and to mutual edification let us make regular church attendance our first priority and let it be a good habit that becomes a part of who we are friends everybody has their reasons for going to church but please know that attending church can help us open our hearts and eyes to see the things we have and to remember what god has done for us it can help to enhance our mood and improve our spiritual health it provides an opportunity to worship to listen to give thanks to ask forgiveness and to forgive others to feel the pinch of reality just like everyone else ultimately it brings us inner peace amen god bless you